to the third Mindanao Policy Research Forum on Federalism as policy option for a decentralized inclusive development a critical inquiry. To the members of the academe, representatives, and officials of government and civil society groups, I would like to thank Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And to our friends who came all the way from Luzon, Visayas, and other parts of Mindanao, and first time to visit Sambuangna City, Buenas dias and bienvenidos a Sambuangna. To formally commence, I invite everyone to please stand for the interfaith invocation. The Mosque in Prayer will be led by Mr. René Tiglani. And please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem in the Sambuanga and Mosa. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the Worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Requital. Thee do we serve, and thee do we beseech for help. Guide us on the right path. The path to those upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not those upon whom wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray. Well, 
mga kababayan, awitin po natin ang magsag ng Pilipinas. Changes to ensure 
a more equitable distribution of resources and less bureaucratic style of government is certainly worthy of consideration. It is my hope that this forum will bring about a deeper understanding of the possible implications that federalism will bring about, both its advantages and disadvantages as we possibly shift to this form of government. On behalf of Father Carlos and Juan, our university president, I wish to welcome once again the representatives from the academy, government agencies, local government units, private sector, and civil society who are here present, and to thank the Minda Development Authority and the Philippine Institute for Development Studies for organizing this event together with the Ateneo Research Center. God bless and muchas gracias a todos. Thank you very much, Father Elia. To share this year's forum rationale and objectives and important details of this forum to our exploration to strengthen the regional development, allow me to introduce our next speaker. She's a practicing economist and accredited evaluator with a master's degree in economics and PhD in social science. For the past 25 years, she was involved in the conduct of research on economic development. Her research interest includes housing, urban development, and disaster risk reduction and management. She's also active in participating in assessment and evaluation projects of government in aspect of urban development. She is also involved in several policy discussions on building resilience of MSMEs and their critical role in the recovery and rehabilitation of communities that are affected by disasters. To represent Dr. Gilbert Bianco, the President of the Philippine Institute for Development Studies, we have the honor to have with us PIDS Vice President, Dr. Marife Padesteros. A round of applause. Regional development. 
This theme has been inspired by uh, the very strong support of the current government to consider federalism as a policy option to address national, long-standing national issues. We have uh, the Mindanao separatist movement. We also look at it, uh, the, the issue on drugs and terrorism, uh, the issue on the regional disparity across uh, regions in the Philippines, and also oligarch monopoly. So, if, uh, in fact, uh, federalism is one of the 28 priority bills identified by the Duterte administration. There are indeed very strong views that federalism is the enabling mechanism for clearer and stronger accountability in governance. However, as uh, leaders and intellectuals and researchers, researchers, I think we need to pose and think what do we really know about federalism. Uh, I'm part of a team that look at uh, several countries that uh, implement uh, or that adopt the federal uh, form of government. And we see here that there are several models. It could be cooperative uh, federalism. There are those that uh, adopt a competitive federalism. But what is very clear when we look at all these countries is that there is no clear correlation between uh, federal, adopting a federal form of government with, with uh, advancement or uh, economic uh, growth. So why federalism, we know it is eventually a political process. Uh, we believe that it should be anchored. It should be first anchored on a non-partisan, objective, and scientific study of what really do we want to achieve and what is the desired outcomes that we want. So we need to design our own decentralized form of uh, government, whether that's a federal form or a stronger decentralized uh, or an improvement of our existing uh, uh, local government code. We learn lessons from our from different federal systems, but we cannot just simply uh, copy what has been what what is the, the system of other countries. We have to design uh, a federal for, a form form of government that is contextual and unique, uniquely Filipino. So we have a series of activities uh, that we have lined up to discuss specifically this issue on federalism and decentralization. And this, this Mindanao Forum is actually uh, the first of the regional uh, forum, a policy research forum that is prepared for this year's EPRM. So we have uh, another one uh, in Manila to be held in uh, September. So today we have gathered together experts from the different academic disciplines to provide a critical and evidence-based inquiry into the topic. Uh, the forum, as shown in your program, has three sessions, and uh, the discussion will be as follows. The gains and pitfalls of Philippine decentralization, fiscal federalism, and we already have here a presentation of the proposed federal constitution. So before I, I end, let me thank first the members of the DPRM Interagency Steering Committee. So the DPRM is made up of, uh, it's a partnership between uh, PIDS, uh, the NEDA, the Civil Service Commission, PIA, PMS, DILG, Banco Central, and for this this year, in view of the theme on uh, the theme on decentralization, we have also invited the Department of Budget and Management and the DOF, Bureau of Local Government Finance, to be part of this journey. So there are actually several uh, agencies, uh, other than PIDS, that is uh, supporting and partnering with us for uh, for this uh, year's DPRM. So uh, with that, let us look forward to a healthy and productive exchange of ideas and insight. Thank you and good day.
Thank you very much, Dr. Ballesteros, for elucidating the initiative.